Hurricane Dorian is clearing out its eye this afternoon and is now a Category 3 major hurricane on the Sapphire Simpson scale with winds of 115 miles per hour and a pressure of 970 millibars, according to the National Hurricane Center's last update. As of 3 p.m. Eastern Time, this is uh, the CDPS is looking at High Rock Bahamas for the first or one of the landfalls there, the most intense one, stage six on the CDPS, catastrophic potential for damage. The same applies to the coast of Florida. Uh, here it is right now, 24.9 degrees north, 70.4 degrees west. And you can see where it is in relation to the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands, safely at the moment off towards the northeast, but that will eventually change. It's 440 miles from the Bahamas capital, Nassau, 530 from Freeport, 615 from Miami, 621 from Palm Beach, and 730 miles from Orlando. Any of these areas could receive major hurricane conditions. A hurricane watch is in effect for the northwestern Bahamas, as has been the case all day so far, um, and that may be upgraded to a warning tomorrow. Watches may come into place for parts of Florida tonight as well, or by tomorrow morning. Rainfall estimates over the next five days are still very high, not quite as high as we were looking at earlier uh, in previous updates, but we could still be looking somewhere in the region of 15 to 20 inches of rain for parts of the eastern coast of Florida over the next five days. Models are still all over the place really, um, some of them now calling for the storm to make landfall further south towards Miami-Dade and then moving into the Gulf of Mexico recurving back on itself, other models barely striking the coast at all. Temperatures 29 degrees Celsius roughly uh, near where the storm is right now. That's the sea surface temperatures very much warm enough for sustained strengthening, which is what we're seeing right now. Looking at the GFS model, you can see the uh, track forecast from that one. You can see they're passing just north of the northernmost Bahamas, although some models and now the National Hurricane Center forecast takes the storm directly over those islands. The GFS slightly towards the north always has been. Uh, a bit of a north bias on this particular model and it sweeps through Jacksonville and moves on along the US East Coast we expect by the late part of next week but that is just one model there are several out there I think what we should look at right now the chances of tropical storm force winds in the next five days 98% at Treasure Key 95 at West Palm Beach 93 at Boca Raton 89 at Port St. Lucie and 83% chance in Miami Here's what some of the other models are saying then, in terms of its intensity, the HMON going out on a limb there saying Category 5, other models calling for generally towards the middle part of Category 4 status, National Hurricane Center expecting 140 mile an hour winds, wind shear is going to be particularly low today, but will go back up towards moderate levels tomorrow and for the foreseeable future, sea surface temperatures remaining warm, relative humidity is decent. There's the track forecast there, uh, calling for various points along the Florida east coast that the storm will make landfall, but the uh, end of it is inevitable, it ends up moving towards the north. Here's the latest satellite imagery of the storm and you can see how the eye has really started to come out in the last few hours. Um, the appearance of the storm right now is the best that it has ever been so far. The eye temperature is now just about reaching the positive numbers up above zero degrees Celsius. That means that the eye is quite clear now and that the storm is obviously intensifying because there's convection blowing up all around into the minus 70 degree range. It is very good value for Category 3 status right now, and at the moment it's still intensifying. It's looking even better on the satellite imagery, possibly better than what National Hurricane Center are giving it right now, and that will, I'm sure, carry over to their future updates if the storm continues to push on in this way. It is intensifying, and it is still heading towards land, and uh, we'll have more updates on the storm throughout this evening with live coverage. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. 
You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.